keep the Joseph, Joseph family in their prayers. Uh, <coughs> I'm going to go through that as well as, as our players and everybody in our, in our football family. I know actually being asked a question on either last week it was or the week before. Um, and I, I said that I, I hope that would something that I wouldn't wish upon anybody and you'd hope that no coach would ever have to go through it. And certainly hope that I'd never have to go through it again. And um, losing a, a a family member uh, like that as part of your program. Um, nothing more devastating ever going to happen to you as a coach or as a, a, a football team or a program. Um, and, uh, you know, so we just keep everybody in our prayers. Uh, that would be fantastic. Um, you know, and about Keith, he was such a he was a great young man. He gave unbelievable effort in everything he was doing. 4.0 student here at Mississippi State. He was a great student coming out of high school. Um, and I'll tell you what, I, probably our, you know, on the scout team, I've been the scout team player of the week every week. We had to share the award with other people just because it wouldn't have been fair because he was that. He was the guy that gave everything that he had and whatever he, his, he was doing, he gave his absolute best every single day. And, uh, you know, uh, just a tragedy, tragedy uh, to lose such a great young man. Um, but uh, we, we have a game we're going to play this week. Uh, be a, uh, obviously a tough matchup. Um, play in Alabama, probably the they don't give me a vote. I, I, they're the best team in America. Uh, I think when you watch, when you're watching games, you watch football. We've had the opportunity to watch football uh, last couple of weeks. It's, it's you can see that that they uh, they are the best team in America. I think um, uh, they got five star players across the board. They got probably got. I'm sure they got more five star players sitting the bench that can't get a rep on their team. They're five star guys that won't even get a rep in the game or. Uh, any of that stuff, and I'm sure most teams, I'm, I can guarantee it more than probably we have on our whole roster. So um, they got a, a pretty explosive offense. They got some great playmakers in the perimeter. They got a big physical running back. Uh, bringing their second running back, would probably start for almost anybody in America. Uh, quarterback manages to get in the right situation. Uh, All star offensive lineman. Uh, and then they have the best defense uh, in America to go along with it. Uh, number one rushing defense in the league, number one total defense uh, in, in the league, one of the tops in the nation in a lot of different categories. So uh, it's going to be a huge challenge for us. And uh, in our program, we're going to have to come out. We've, we've improved, though, over the last couple of weeks. I think we've improved uh, every week that we've um, – over the. Uh, you, in a lot of ways, you could say we've improved every week during the course of the season from one game to the next with a young football team. And uh, I know certainly over the last four games, we've seen significant improvement from one week to the next. And we're going to have to take another huge step forward here on Saturday and, and play at an extremely high level uh, to put ourselves in a position to win.